wanted to show you how to adjust the fan speed correctly for this unit. This is a downflow unit. So the diagram is right here on this tag. And the outside unit that we're working with is a two and a half ton. So you match this number to the outside. T2 would be low speed and T3 would be high speed. Make sure you turn off the power. And the taps are right there. This is a rude unit. So the tap we're working with is this blue wire. It comes from the factory on speed tap five. And I've moved it to three because we require high speed because of the high static pressure. There's a few other pieces of data that you need, so you'll need to have the book for the unit. This is an H1T cabinet. It has some digits or letters in front of this, but H1T, so that's a one stage, and it's a three ton cabinet, 17 inches wide. And the CFMs are anywhere between 1,000 and 1,200, and we're using a two and a half ton condenser, so we want to get close to 1000 CFM. This is the section that shows how to select the blower speed. This is on page 36, selecting indoor blower motor speed. Here's our cabinet again. And we reference table 3.14.3. Table 3.14.3, and this is the sub point three, which references H1T cabinet constant torque motor. This is the correct cabinet. Again, there's a list of cabinets. This is our tonnage, and based on the static pressure, which we're all the way up here at the highest, 0.70. I think we're actually a little bit higher than that. On high, CFM, at speed tap three, motor speed three, we should be getting about 976 CFM. Now I verified this and we are getting between nine to a thousand CFM depending on where we get the measurement in the return duct. So if you set this unit at speed tap three, you should be good. You can also test it with a manometer. I have a downflow unit, so I can't access the supply duct, uh, but the return duct was 0.5 inches of water column. So you should be good to go.